um, the tractor that you see behind me. This is our almost finished pre-series prototype. Um, it is one of the most powerful electric tractors worldwide that you see here. It has uh, 160 horsepower maximum uh, peak uh, power and uh, 196 uh, kilowatt hours of battery capacity. And those two data combined is, as I said, one of the most powerful tractors, electric tractors worldwide. And before uh, this one, you had a, you have had a other prototype, so yes. to say. Yeah. Um, we. Uh, we have been developing this tractor for um, almost three and a half years now and uh, there have been uh, two steps in the development. The first step was to develop the um, completely electric drivetrain and we developed that within 15 months and we implemented that in an existing tractor. This was our first functional prototype and after we tested this and we knew that the drivetrain worked the way we wanted it to and the way we expected it to. Then we started to develop um, the completely new tractor around this drivetrain. We made the drivetrain um, more powerful, but the system is the same and the technique is the, is the same. Um, but this time we developed and built the whole tractor ourselves. And this one is uh, one electric motor. It's not motors in each uh, wheel or how does it work? Not in each wheel. But we have five motors, five uh, electric uh, uh, engines. Um, one at the front axle, one at the rear axle, one at the front PTO, one at the rear PTO, and one for the hydraulic system. So this, or, or, uh, thus we can um, provide each consumer. Sorry, thus we can provide each consumer with exactly the power he needs. And. Um but the axles and the uh, other is components that you you can buy. Yes, for, yeah. these are standard components um, that are um, typical for this um, for the agricultural area, and um, we focus on using standard components because um, as we can guarantee that they work, that you have um, that you have service for it and they have been in use for many, many, many thousands of hours. And we do not want to um, develop uh, our own brake system. There's very, there are very good solutions on the market and we use those good solutions. And um, what we have, uh, well, or, or, um, our part is the structure of the drivetrain, the software, we do it ourselves, we develop it ourselves, and um, we have a few individual parts, like the frame and um, the, the uh, I don't know what's the name, but the, the covers. Okay, yeah. the bonnet and the, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what, with, this is uh, produced for us. But what we do is we, we are, um, we assemble the parts and we ensure the quality, but um, this way we, we, we are able to do it ourselves. And uh, you're based in the south of Germany? So, uh, yes, in south of Germany, in Bavaria. And yeah. <laughs> uh, how many people are in, in um, board? We are five people right now. Tardis uh, consists of five people. Um, but we have a very big network of very um, reliable and helpful partners. I think I can imagine it's uh, very expensive to uh, start something like this yes. from nothing. And uh, how do you finance it? We have two investors. They are from our region, and they um, it's a very um, trustful relationship with them. So we work together very well, and we um, are funded by the Bavarian government also. And this is what, um, yeah, this is how we finance our development, and will be able to finance um, the market launch until we will be able to finance ourselves from the income. And the, the tractor you see is not uh, completely ready, but uh, it will be very soon. Yes, it will be very soon. What you see here is the completely built prototype. 
what is uh, still to do, and we will start right away when the Active Technica is finished, is to implement the software, to um, plug in all the cables, and then to ensure the uh, correct um, usability and the, all the correct functions. This will happen right after the Active Technica, and we plan to have it um, completely finished and working by spring, so let's say around March, April, maybe May, but we are planning around April and um, then we will be able to test it. And once the tests are, um, we are happy with the tests and the results, then we will um, like freeze the development and start um, planning the pre-series, the production of five tractors next year. Yes, so if everything goes to plan, they will be produced next year. It, well, you never know, it might take a few more months. It, it um, depends on the um, delivery of the components and everything and how long we um, need for the tests and everything. But the plan is to produce those five tractors from the pre, for the pre-series end of next year. They are, they are um, ready to be sold and they are ready to be used yeah. and we are already talking to pioneer customers who are interested in um, being one of the first to um, yeah, implement this new technology and, and show the others how well they work. And the uh, price, uh, what do you think? How uh, can you compare with a, a regular tractor in this class? Yeah, compared to a regular tractor, we are about, uh, this, or our tractor is about 50% um, more expensive. But this includes also the battery. And um, the, worth, the battery itself is worth almost 90,000 euros. So um, if you include that, or with the battery, the whole tractor is around 50% more expensive than the conventional tractors that are comparable to this. Yeah. And then I heard uh, it's the same batteries as in the Volvo trucks. Yeah, I don't know exactly the the, um, uh, the brand, but it's the it's a standard battery that is used or has been used for thousands of hours in city buses and trucks, and it's the yeah just standard industrialized battery pack. Our main goal is to really replace a conventional tractor or conventional. 100 kilowatt universal tractor completely with our TADIS tractor and even offer many advantages because um, the battery can be used bidirectional and so you can use the tractor with the battery to, uh, also as a uh, battery storage or power storage for your own power production. So for example if you um, during the during the day you have a peak and you cannot use all your power, you can store it within the tractor. So this is um, an advantage um, that is more than the conventional tractor. In a normal work, you can, uh, how many hours can you uh, use the tractor? Yeah, if you look at the typical work for a 100 kilowatt tractor, then these works, these uses can be done for about five to 10 hours approximately but it really depends on what you exactly do, how the soil is, um, yeah, how the soil is yeah. and everything. And hard work, if you do the, like plowing or something like that, how many hours? Well, hard to say, but at, at, at least three hours. 